Hi everyone and welcome back to the old so-and-so. So today I wanted to show you my small thrift haul at a thrift store. So I got this platter. It is a Homer Laughlin ironstone platter for a dollar fifty. This would be great for display, putting stuff on. You could use it in your bathroom for decorative soap. It's great. Then I found another plate. It was square and it was a dollar twenty-five. And on the back, it has the B-I-I. -I. I don't know what that means, but I love the shape. This could be used anywhere in your home for anything. And then I got these. Now these were used for fruit and I got these for $2 a piece. Okay. There's a sticker on the back that's made in Hong Kong on both of them. But these would be great for maybe um, um, like balls, your decorative balls. That's cool. Or if you didn't want to do that, you could always add fruit or just by themselves. I mean, you could probably figure out a way to hang this on your wall, which is really neat. I liked it. And it was, one was on one shelf and it, one aisle and one was on another one. And I thought, perfect. I'm going to get them. And then I got this little tin. It's for cookies or sandwiches. And it was $1.50. And this is an old piece. And it comes with these. I mean, how cute would it be to have, like, some ladies over with some cute little sandwiches? Or making little cookies, but I love things like this. Any kind of old kitchen item, I don't know why, but I really like the old kitchen items. And then I picked up this screen. It's, it's used to like, you know, put lettuce in or fruit in to wash it or noodles or whatever, and it was $2. But, I wanted to repurpose this, and I'll show you why. <clears throat> These are old screens that they used to put over their food in their little um, pantries or whatever. And they have some beautiful tops to them. And it would go over to cover things that they don't want bugs to get to, okay? How cool is that, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you could do this. All right, so I found a, a knob, just a plain old knob, and thank goodness it did come with its screw. So, just try to eyeball the center, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my needle nose pliers because that's what I had close by. And I'm just going to do a hole large enough for that screw to go in. Let's see. A little bit larger. Perfect. There. Make 
making sure, yes. See? Just a little hole. And then, screw, of course, goes inside because you want the knob to be decorative. How cool is that? And then all you need to do is sit this stuff out on your counter. I love fake food. I don't know why I love fake food, but all of this is fake. I got I got these at Cracker Barrel, and they were an ornament. They had a little hole in them. Here's another one. Let's see if I can find the hole. It's kind of closed up. And then another cookie. So you never know where you're gonna find your fake food. Um, the strawberries, love the strawberries. They're fake. The chocolate turtles, their fate, and the candy. I mean, this stuff looks real. Kind of makes me hungry. <laughs> oh. But all we're going to do is just place what we've just done over on top. And we can sit it in our cupboard or our... Um, Step back cupboard, on the counter, definitely for looks. So, of course, I've got to work on this part. It's too long, so I will definitely work on that. But this one, I got at an antique shop. This one was like 35 I think I gave like 20 for this one. And it just has a wood knob where they just put it inside. Can you see? And I know you've seen the strainers, the older strainers that have like a handle. You could take those handle parts off, turn it over and use it for the same thing. And if you need to, you can always do a little bit of paint on it to make it look a little older. But love those. And if you think about it, <laughs> two bucks. I mean, if I wanted to, I could like paint this black a little bit and then it's perfect. Perfect. Okay, so that's what I found at the thrift shop here in Lebanon, Tennessee. Um, I go maybe once or twice a week, especially when I'm out taking care of my booth at Antiques on 231 here in Lebanon. It's kind of like on my way back home and you never know what you're going to find. It's always good to kind of stop in, check things out, because they do um, stock every day. So, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you will, please give me a like. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and share it with someone. Have a great day. Enjoy every moment. And God bless America. Bye.